So we're going to look at solving exponential equations. First, we're going to look at exponential equations with like, like bases. Um, so we're going to use the rules of exponents to simplify, if necessary, so that the resulting equation has the form b to the s equals b to the t. Use the one-to-one -one property to set the exponents equal and solve the resulting equations, setting s, the, the exponent of one, equal to t, the exponent of the other. So here we have 2 to the x minus 1 equals 2 to the x, sorry, 2 to the 2x minus 4. So we say x minus 1 equals 2x minus 4. I'm solving for x. So I'll subtract both x from both sides. Add 4. So 3 equals x. That's it. And then the next one is solving exponential equations with unlike bases. We write each side of the equation as a power with a common base. Use the rules of exponents to simplify, if necessary, so that the resulting equation has the form b to the s equals b to the t, just like we saw above. Use the one-to-one -one property to set the exponents equal and solve the resulting equations s equals t for the unknown. So these two, we have two, 8 to the x plus 2 equals 16 to the x plus 1. So those aren't the same bases. Uh, the easiest way I see to do this is to say 2 to the third power, because that's 8. 2 to the third power to the x plus 2 equals 2 to the fourth power, because that's 16, to the x plus 1. So it's 2 to the 3x plus 6 equals 2 to the 4x plus 4. So now we have 2 to a power, and we can set those powers equal to each other. So 3x plus 6 equals 4x plus 4. And we can subtract 3x from both sides. And we can subtract 4 from both sides. And we get 2 equals x. Now our next one we have this 2 to the 5x equals 2 or the square root of 2. So we can write this as 2 to the 5x equals 2 to the 1 half. So we can set these powers equal, equal to each other. 5x equals 1 half. Multiply by 1 fifth. Multiply by 1 fifth. I think it's easier to multiply by 1 fifth instead of saying divide by 5. And to think what is 1 half divided by 5. But whatever works for you. So x equals 1 tenth. Okay. Let's see here. Got another one. So for the next one we have really different bases. So it says um, solve 3 to the x plus 1 equals negative 2. And I have the hint, try graphing. Okay, so let's look at a graph of this. First, if I were to look at 3 to the x plus 1, if I just draw this by hand. So we know an exponential graph. So the x plus 1 means it's going to shift to the left one. But all I really need is a rough idea of the graph. It's going to look something like this. And then if I look at the graph of x equals, so I'm looking at, sorry, let me clean this up for a second. So I look at y equals 3 to the x plus 1. That's the first one there. And then y equals negative 2. And that's going to be down here. Well, there's no place that they're touching. There's no place that they're going to cross. So there's no solution here. The other one you can reason it out is that the range for y equals 3 to the x plus 1 is greater than 0. So it's never going to be negative 2. Okay, and that's it for solving exponential equations.